Whether you're new to day Z or just have crazy hours behind you, there's always something new to learn. And here I have more than 200 tips and tricks in no particular order that should hopefully cover everyone from beginning players to existing players. If you liked the video, please leave a like and a subscribe, it really helps me out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, somebody's in for a shock when they remove my helmet and realise I'm not 9 years old. Can I say that? Starting off slow. Sitting in cars will prevent you from vomiting. Suppressors can be repaired using a gun cleaning kit. And you don't need to remove the suppressor to repair it. If you're using a mouse and a keyboard, just drag it down to the gun cleaning kit. You can stealth attack the infected. You can refill filters with charcoal pills. Zombies despawn in around 6 minutes if nobody is in the area. You can transfer liquids between containers. Check around nearby raided bases. Most people store nearby so that they can more safely move it to their own base so you might have a chance of catching them before they've moved everything away you can bury bodies you can lure zombies by throwing things you can't sharpen bones or stone knives zombies can't get you on top of cars you can sharpen bone on rock to make knives hiding in a home will make zombies lose interest when knocked out zombies will roam away giving you an opportunity to stand up gloves can become damaged if fighting zombies the higher your food and water the less likely illness will occur. This is because the higher your levels, the higher your immune system. Gagging yourself can muffle sounds of pain and laughter. Morphine allows you to walk on a broken leg. You always face north when spawning in. Pox, antidote and blood bags can cure toxic poisoning. Clothes dry faster next to fire rather than on you. You can now cook without water and fat but it will cost you nutritional value. You can load different bullet types in most guns. This especially works well for the shotgun because you can have close range and mid range. Bandages can lose disinfected status if they become damaged. Camo crates on the coast have great weapons. You can fish up pots from water. Zombies in helmets likely won't die from a single headshot. You will have to shoot them twice. You can get short sticks from long sticks. You can cut planks from pallets. Removing a car radiator will cause all the water to disappear. The infected are attracted to light and sound. The Ada with the two doors has seats that move forward. Server resets don't reset loot spawns. Duct tape and water bottles make silences. You can change fire rate from single to auto or with the double barrel shotgun, you can fire both barrels at once. This also works with the blaze. You can't carry heavy items when your leg is broken. Water bottles fill up faster than drinking at a well. There are two toxic zones that are permanent. Toxic airstrikes can happen in most towns at any time. Iodine disinfectant and tincture cures early stage infection. Shoot landmines to disarm them safely from a distance. Lockpicks can disarm a landmine. Screwdrivers can also disarm a landmine. However, landmines can sometimes trigger when disabled randomly or when you're an idiot with a shovel. Fire stations can spawn fire axes. A crowbar can be used to open cans of food, but you will get less food than if you were to open it with a tin opener. You can bury crates under a cut down tree and when the server resets, it'll bury it. Leather sewing kits can repair rider jackets. Medical facilities can spawn NBC gear. You can place a frag grenade in a fire. You can place a flash grenade in a fire. You can add barbed wire or nails to a bat to add cut damage. Six grenades in a pot will destroy a fence. Crouching will let you sneak past zombies if you're careful. You can cut seeds from vegetables. Fishing in the mornings or the evenings will increase your chances of catching fish. Whereas fishing without bait will increase your chances of getting an item. Gloves can become damaged when sliding down ladders. You can craft rope from guts. Road flares can light fires. Gas stoves can warm you up while cooking. Smoke rises from chimneys in houses a lot higher than regular fires in the forest. Zombies can attract even more zombies with any noise they make after becoming aggroed. You can now light brooms on fire. Dried fruit and mushrooms give you three times the calories. Bear traps can be disarmed with a stick. Torches will provide heat. Bear traps break legs. Daisy has a north star you can follow using real life information. Tents protect you against the weather. Zombies can set off tripwires. Some scopes let you zoom in. You can feed friends if their hands are bloodied. 
you can create an improvised cooking stand with sticks. You can jump on many rooftops most people don't think is possible. You can fill water bottles with petrol and if you drink it you will probably get chemical poisoning. While aiming with a gun you can stun your target giving you enough time to get off a shot or if their energy is low killing them. Zombies can hear when you talk in live chat. You can use a gun scope like a small telescope. Fire extinguishers by pouring water on it. You can make a rope belt with a single rope. Kuru can't be cured. The only pill you can take is a lead one. If a bear attacks you you'll likely go unconscious but wake up but if you attack the bear it will be more likely to kill you. You can somewhat run while crouching low reducing your overall noise. Drinking water you find will likely make you ill. Water purification tablets will make any water drinkable. Bullet drop is a thing. The Mark II has a built-in suppressor. You can load single rounds into most gun chambers. Wolves and bears will temporarily attack thrown meat giving you enough time to escape. Shoes made with rags will make you silent. Multivitamin tablets will prevent most illnesses. Flies indicate a dead body is nearby. You can catch colds from sharing containers with strangers. Ruined clothing will provide no insulation. Wet clothing will provide lower insulation. When a landmine is ticking, it won't explode. You can wring out wet clothing to make them less wet, improving your insulation. Cooked food can warm you up if stored in your clothing. The lower your food level, the slower it drains, so it can be to your advantage to keep it in the yellow rather than boosting it to the white. A blue temperature gauge means you're at higher risk of an illness. Improvised suppressors can hinder your accuracy by creating a view block on some guns. You can stab through windows with a spear. The bone and stone knife are much weaker than their alternatives. Alarm clocks display the correct time. You can cook food by combining it with a sharpened stick. You need to wait for an ashy base to appear before you can roast meat. The bayonet is an extremely powerful melee weapon. Running barefoot will cut your feet. Running barefoot on grass is less likely to cut your feet. Eating with bloody hands will make you ill. Adding fat to torches makes them last twice as long. You can reuse ruined heat packs by boiling them. But placing them in a fire too long will probably destroy them. Sunglasses make it easier to see in low sun. Stage 2 infections will drain water and health requiring for tetracycline over 20 minutes. You can light fires under trees. Grenades have a 4 second fuse. Attacking animals won't follow you into water. They also won't follow you to the edge of the map. Adding a compass to a quick menu will let you see it in real time by opening the quick menu. The meat hammer can be used to build. Bandanas can heal cuts. O negative blood type can be given to anyone. Blood clots after 5 minutes but will probably cause an infection. You can disinfect rags and sewing kits to heal stopping the risk of infection. You can attach and put away items using the quick menu. You can bury medical bags. Worms can be dug up from dirt using bladed items. Fishing hooks can be crafted with a knife and bones. Bus stations spawn lots of useful loot. You can eat animal fat or cook with it. You can test blood already in a bag using a blood test kit. You can take your own temperature and it will appear down below here. Weight directly impacts your stamina. Stamina can affect your ability to jump, hit and run. Duct tape is a great substitute for repairing items if you don't have a sewing kit. The protective case will ruin all items inside if it becomes ruined itself. You can relight a fire by blowing on the ashes if you have kindling. Building a foundation with a camo net can stop people seeing in. A sewing kit and a rag will make a white armband. Epoxy putty can repair helmets and plate carriers. You can empty bottles by looking at the floor giving you the option. High rises don't have good loot, these should probably be avoided. The pistol holster for the plate carrier can be attached to a belt. Gloves will prevent hands getting bloody. You can take shelter from the rain under trees. You can lie down to save calories. An EpiPen will give you temporary unlimited stamina. Blocking will give you time to regain your stamina when fighting. You can shave beards with a sharp item such as a knife. Before a toxic airstrike happens, a flare will appear overhead. You can make an improvised filter using a bottle and a dust mask. You can craft multicolored armbands using raincoats. Animals will stop running more quickly if you stop chasing them. Pots now decay with use. Helmets can muffle your voice when speaking to other players. Combining a barrel with a knife will make a fire barrel. You can cook meat by closing the lid on a fire barrel. Golden helmets can be used as melee weapons. If you exit a car while it's in gear, it'll stall and turn off. 
you can make a burlap bag by adding ropes and sticks. 12 rags can create rope. Jumping out of a moving car will probably kill you right away. Charcoal pills will cure chemical poisoning. You can fire through most doors and sometimes other items. Clothes provide no armor protection at all. Cleaning weapons reduces their risk of jamming. When unconscious, you drop your item, so always pick it up when you come to. You can break legs by shooting them. Crouching while you're about to drink will stop you snapping the cap loudly. Fires will now attract zombies. Freshborns have nothing to lose, so don't be cocky and avoid them. Colds and flus can spread from player to player if you're close. You can add things like bandages to the quick menu. Drop dry bags in the ocean to hide items well. Bandages are a lot quicker than rags for treatment. When zombies hulk smash, you have enough room to hit back. Clouds always head east. Fruit spawns on the floor around fruit trees. Ruined items can never be repaired. Unjam your weapon by holding the reload. Lock picks can lock most doors. You can damage most locked doors to open them. Saws can give you planks from logs. You can create a saw off shotgun using a saw and a shotgun. This also works for the BK-18 and the Mosin. People with AB blood can receive any blood type from any player. You can build a garden with shovels, pickaxes and hoes. Most animals make sounds that you can track. You can damage items on zombies if you attack them. Canned food won't spoil if unopened. You can store chickens in your inventory to save them until you can cut it safely when you have gloves. Saline bags also provide hydration. Grass doesn't render at long distances. Yellow tents such as the ones by the airport usually have great medical supplies. Don't hang around on rooftops if you want to live. Lock zombies in places to avoid having to take on large swarms. Wearing the balaclava with the skull is more likely to get you shot on sight. Any creatures on rooftops won't be able to attack you, but they can alert others. Full ghillie suits can spawn at helicopter crash sites. You can hear helicopters getting shot down before the crash site appears. Don't run on roads. Use ditches and follow tree lines to avoid getting shot or sniped. Train carts are a great place to find useful items from jerry cans, weapons, and even things like rangefinders. I underestimated how long it would take to make this video, <laughs> but it's been fun. For even more Daisy information and some useful tips, click here. And as always, until next time.